Hey Nate, how do you get a good body? Hmm. Ah, ah, tight chest, man. Ah. Do you have a tight chest? <laughs> Tired of cramping up at the gym? <laughs> Nate's Way is here to help. What's up everyone, it's Nate from Nate'sWay.com here. This week we're gonna work on opening tight chests. Okay, because these things can really get locked into to an internal rotation position where your shoulders kind of come forward and it's these muscles that are pulling your shoulder in and they're really painful sometimes and they can limit your movements. So we're going to work on opening this up today. Okay, it's a fun one. All you're going to need to do is find a surface that's cylindrical, hard and long. Something like this at your height, okay, at your shoulder level height or a little lower is great. Okay, I'm using a leg press. You can use lacrosse balls too, they're really nice against the wall. I just like using this because it's a little more creative and not always you find yourself with balls in your hands. Speak for yourself. So this is a really good option you can use at the gym, okay? So we're gonna put our chest right here, right near the shoulder blade, okay? Right in the meaty part of it, okay? And just under the collarbone, okay? And we're gonna put our chest there. Okay, so notice I'm on my leg here. This is if I want to reduce tension. If I want maximum tension, I can kind of lean into it and snap back. And have my pressure pushing right into the chest here. You see that? Okay. And now once I get comfortable, because it's quite uncomfortable, and I'm starting to feel a little bit better, I'm going to start doing a little rotation. Okay, I'm kind of peeling away at the tissue. Okay, and breaking down those adhesions that sometimes create Really opening up the fibers. Okay, and it's important to take nice deep breaths. Inhale the rotation. And exhale. This is really nice. You can also play around with reaching your arm forward and doing kind of like a chest fly. Okay, this is really, really good too. You can do a little bit of abduction, abductions. Okay, but the, the uh, horizontal abduction is really nice and abduction. Pulling the arm away, hold, and bringing it back. Okay, simulating a chest fly. It's really, really nice. Once you do a little bit there, you can change spots a little bit, get into the meteor section, okay? This whole strip up here is really tight for most of us. So play around with your spot. Everyone's different. For me, it's more towards the shoulder attachment. That's where I feel the most pain. So I work on opening that up, okay? What you don't want to do is put it directly at the shoulder joint like this. Okay, because that could cause some damage. If you lean too much, you could really hurt your shoulder. So just be mindful of that. Right here, so this is my spot. I'll stay here for about one to two minutes with the nice inhale and exhale. And then we'll test and see how it feels after, and then you do the other side. It feels really nice actually. It was about 30, 40 seconds work. And actually, I already feel the opening. So guys, give it a try. Let me know how it is. I like. I want to see what you guys are up to and if you guys are enjoying that. So give me a comment below, click the like button, share this with your friends. If you know guys who are benching heavy, like five pounds in each arm, really heavy stuff, and they hurt their chest, maybe they just need a little bit of a cylinder in their life. Alright guys, see you guys next week.